Have you ever gotten into a trick but you just can't seem to get out and roll away? I get tons of DMs of people telling me they're getting into crooked grinds but they can't figure out how to pop out and actually land the trick and I know firsthand how infuriating this can be. When you feel like you have a trick, it can just be so frustrating when you just feel like you should be able to land it but you're just stuck. Today we're going to learn how to properly pop out of our crooked grinds from none other than Shane O'Neill, probably the most talented skateboarder alive and by the end of this video you should know exactly what to do in order to crook and then pop out and roll away. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Also comment what you want me to put on the screen in the next video. The comment with the most likes will go up. So what is Shane O'Neill's secret to doing an effortless crook pop out? We're gonna be using this clip today to break it down so that average skaters like me or you can pop out of crooks like Shane O'Neill. So to answer the question of how do you pop out of crooks like Shane O'Neill, first you need to understand how to hold a crook like Shane O'Neill. In this clip, I want you to pay attention to Shane O'Neill Neil's front foot heel. Notice how his front heel side wheel is getting pressed between the board and the ledge. This is called a pinch and if you don't do your crooks like this it doesn't really count at least in my book. This is the proper way to actually hold a crooked grind and if you don't know how to pinch your crooks you're not going to be able to pop out. So how does one pinch a crooked grind? Well the first part is pretty obvious. Look at Shane O'Neill's front foot heel. All of his weight is pressing into that heel locking that wheel pinched against the ledge. Step one is just to figure out how to feel that position of pinching with your heel. You can do this by ollieing up into a crook stall and learning what it feels like to put pressure on that heel. If Shane O'Neill were to put any weight on his toe during this crook, the crook would fall out almost instantly. So now that you know about pressing down on the crook with your heel, the second part of holding a pinch has to do with the back foot. If you watch Shane O'Neill's back foot, he lifts it way higher than his front foot, so his feet are uneven. You'll notice that none of his weight is actually on his back Back foot. It's just floating there, barely even touching the grip tape. In order to get a proper pinch, you need to get all the weight on your front foot heel and make sure to not put any weight on your back foot. If your back foot is pushing down the board, you're going to lose the pinch. When I roll up to a crook, the main thing that I'm thinking about is jumping up and getting all the weight off of my back foot. Getting my back foot high and out of the way so that the board can come up and all my weight transfers onto that front foot. On to that heel to create that pinch just like Shane O'Neill. Once you get all the weight off of the back foot, you will be sitting perfectly locked into that crooked grind. And if you can get into a perfect pinch every time, popping out of the trick is actually going to come super easy. Now how do you pop out of the crooked grind? Now that we can hold our crooks perfectly and pinch it in there, what's the secret to pop out like Shane O'Neill? The secret is really simple. Watch Shane O'Neill's back foot right as he's about to pop out of the crook. Notice how he pushes his back foot down just a few inches and then lifts it up again. This is creating like a spring mechanism. Basically, he pushes down to load the spring and lifts up and his board pops. This will only work if you get all of your weight off of your back foot to begin with and get that perfect pinch. Then once you have all the weight off of your back foot, right as you get to the end of the ledge, watch how Shane O'Neill pushes down, then lifts his foot back up and jumps. This allows the board to pop up with him and then he floats down to the ground and rolls away. It's honestly a lot easier than you probably think it is. It really just comes down to getting that pinch and getting all the way off of your back foot to begin with so that way you can do that little press and release to pop out at the end of the ledge. If your back foot is already pressing down the board while you're doing the crooked grind, there's not going to be any room to actually pop it up. So once, you, once you've got that pinch, just press down with the back foot, lift up and jump and roll away just like that. If you don't believe me that this works, today we're going to be putting it to the test in the skate session. So at the skate park, there's this bump to mani pad. And I've wanted to crook the mani pad and then pop into the ledge. But the tricky thing about it is there's about a six to seven, eight inch gap between the mani pad and the bank. So in order to get from the mani pad into the bank, you have to be able to pop out to actually clear the distance. So to prove that this actually works, I'm going to crook the mani pad, pop up, clear that six inch gap, and then roll into the 
the bank. I've never done this before, but I know it's gonna put my pop out to the test and then you guys will be able to see for yourself that this technique does actually work for an average skater like you or me. Before we get into the session, there is one more thing that you should know about trying crooked grinds that will make crook pop outs way safer and a lot more natural. We're gonna talk about that after the skate session, so stick with me to the end. But for now, let's head to the skate park, get a warm up session in, and then try and get this crook pop out into the bank. Let's get it. you guys like that crook pop out comment down below out of 10 0 to 10 how would you rate it I told you that there was one more secret that will make popping out of crooks a thousand times safer and just easier to be honest I think that this is probably the biggest key for anybody that is getting into perfectly pinched crooks every time but not getting out and that is to keep your head inside the ledge so in order for that crooked grind to have the leverage to pop out your board has to be pushing into the ledge so in order to do that your head cannot be over your front foot your head actually needs to be closer to your back foot so the crook is kind of in front of you and behind you and your head is away from the ledge and slightly back what this allows you to do is this gives you the leverage to actually pop the board on the way out and it helps hold the crook in place while your back foot dips it to set up that spring effect so my 30 second trick tip for this trick would be to approach it like a back side 50 50 keep your weight inside the ledge and then make sure you get all of your weight off of your back foot if you do those three things popping out of the trick is going to almost happen naturally and subconsciously if you're somebody that's struggling to pop out and you are getting into a perfectly pinched crook odds are your head is too far over your front foot and you need your head to lean away from the ledge 
If you're having trouble with tricks and you want to ask me a question, just DM me on Instagram. You can follow me at the local Joe. If you get that head position just right, you're going to be popping out of this trick in no time. And you're going to be turning a lot of heads at the skate park, just like you would be if you were wearing one of my Friday hoodies that are just down below this video. If you want to support the channel, cop one of those. Remember to make every single day a Friday. Subscribe if you like these videos and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.